There's always so much to celebrate in the world of art. We unconsciously engage in different forms of art daily without really paying attention to it. Now, in the world of Thomas More, the ordinary arts we practice every day at home are of more importance to the soul than their simplicity suggests. This is the Art Express. Thanks for joining us. Ink is a liquid paste that contains pigment or dyes and is used to color a surface to produce an image, text or design. Ink is used for drawing or writing with a pen. Now call the ink instructor. Uwama, popularly known as Yellow CC, is a very unknown artist whose work tool is a black barrel. Now this artist believes that making mistakes while creating an art is never a mistake. I'm an abstract artist who draws basically for a living and uh, I hustle creativity. I've always been drawing right from the time. I, my mother was actually told me that uh, before I could write my ABCs, I was already connecting lines and drawing. And uh, back then in school, I had fine art just as a uh, junior white level. That was the farthest I could go. And then I came out from the university being uh, a qualified IT engineer. but. Uh, Drawing, art has always been my thing, like my passion right from time. So after working for like two years in the IT firm, um, I called it quits and then turned my <laughs> little room into a studio. And um, since the uh, 2010, I went professional. That's after I quit my job. Ever since, uh, I've not looked back and happy about it and feel more fulfilled and then that's it. Art is life. Art is everything. Art is uh, art is God. I'm God. Art is um, just art. Art. Art is a healer. Art is uh, art makes you happy. Art. Art is like the very breath, um, air breath. The circle is all about what um, Lagos, the attraction Lagos holds for everybody who is in Lagos, anybody who is coming into Lagos, be it from Nigeria, be it from the rest of Africa, be it from the world generally. What brings you to Lagos? Could it be the hustle money? Could it be the cut deals? Could it be the business opportunities? Could it be the life of the party? Could it be the beautiful noise that oozes from um, Cecilia going? Whatever brings you to Lagos, you understand? That's what this work is about. And then you find out like, yeah, she's like trying to flaunt all of her um, beauty and assets, you know, like all these jewelries and then these jewelries are like the very traffic we hate, you know, those traffic we hate. And then, but I'm, I'm wondering why are we stuck on this chick, Sisiko? Why are we stuck on this lady, Sisiko? You know, that attraction. And then you find out like people keep talking about Africa rising, you know, Africa, a commercial hub, you know, Lagos, a commercial capital, you know, for me, it, this is the person they're talking about, you understand? And that's Sisiko, and then the second one I'm exhibiting, uh, it's called uh, Get Counted, aka the Lagos Factor. You know, when you say Lagos, what comes to your mind? Hustle, get money, you know, trying to like cut one deal or so, you know, just trying to eke out a living, you know, trying to like write your names in signs of time. So for me, um, 
when a close look at the work, you see like people trying to rush into a bus, like crowded scenes, and uh, what do you have it now? Like all those uh, um, the bridges. For me, it all talks about commercial activities, one way or the other. You understand? So, and I remember growing up as a toddler, I counted on bottle covers. So. I decided to do the work, I mean, to like draw on bottle covers to say, look, hey, if you're in Lagos and you are not hustling or trying to make money, you are not in Lagos, you're not, you're not in Lagos, so you better get into the hustle and get counted. You look at the work, you like, see people trying to rush into a boat, you see like crowded people in the camera, all that uh, uh, moving back on top is breaking on people. So for me, this, 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 you know, it smells of hustle, you know, like, like you can get choked up in this hustle, you understand? So that's what I talked about, about, that major feature. And then I, I grew up, I grew up as a son, like counting on what to call them. I just So I decided to do the work or like draw on what to call them. Hence the name, get counted. Basically, my works are made up of line. I start out um, making like um, what people easily call, uh, what people can call uh, rough sketch. You know, make out those lines, connecting lines. But along the line, like me, I'm I'm that unboxed. I have an unboxed brain that, along the line, it just flows. I let it flow. But I first start with those like initial borders with my the biro, and then this shading with the biro, and then the colors you're expecting to see from the work. I make it with the various shadings. You know, I can have like up to like five shadings just covering one part of my work. So it goes with, it starts with the lines and then the shadings and then I just allow the creativity to just flow. I think people are beginning to like gradually wake up to the value of art in Nigeria, gradually. But um, if I'm to rate it, if I'm to rate it, I would just say like maybe probably like 10% or so, you understand? Because you, you find out that the real people who uh, uh, appreciate this art are not like easily available around. Artist, um, I like to call myself a monochrome artist, but basically, monochrome artist basically ink, basically regular virus, the um, um, neo Swiss tip viral, that's what I use, and I do lots of shading. That's why um, when people ask me, they're like, they're like, oh, yellow sister, you love your painting, but I'm like, no, lots of shading has been has gone into those works. So for me, it's just like it's drawing, but it comes out like, and then people tell me painting for me which is like an appreciation that look they love what they're seeing and then they can easily um, um, uh, relate to it I'm I'm really really motivated I'm inspired by lights I'm inspired by lights you know when I see lights hit an object I just want to like explode I mean that creativity is like pumping out I, 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 I want to put down that relationship between the light and the object you know like when light hits an object you know darkness is pushed to one side and everything that makes me want to like you know just draw and let it all out and then i'm also inspired and motivated by the, um, what i call um, um the billionaire tendency so, like i want to be a billionaire so like right, right right now and then apart from that there's also this thing that like inspires me i'm inspired by the fact i, I call this one the queen's tendency i i i want each of my arts to be as in, I do my art such a way that each of them can be in the Buckingham's Palace, the Queen's Palace, you understand, for upcoming artists, is that you need to have passion for what you're doing. That's the truth. 
You really need to have passion for what you're doing. If you have pure passion for what you're doing, like I told you before, it provides you with everything. The, the um, I mean, the motivation you need to, you know, to just go far in your art career. That's what I'm saying.